If you've ever played Rocket League for even a dozen or so hours online, you're probably already aware that for a pretty tame car soccer game, the community is hilariously toxic. How toxic? Well, today I'm gonna give you guys a unique little glimpse at the inner workings of this game's player base. It can be fickle, petty, passive aggressive, and downright mean. But with those shenanigans also come some of the greatest moments you can experience in gaming. I present to you one month of recorded toxic interactions. Yeah, I literally recorded every single toxic moment I encountered over the course of the last 30 days. And I ended up with so much material, I had to cut this down from around 30 minutes of toxicity into the best moments that you're about to watch. Despite playing this game for over four years, I was truly amazed at what I came across. For this entire month, I used a secret account going by the name of Hans. In some clips, you'll notice I'm also named Spaceman. I wanted to make sure I wasn't recognized so that you guys would see an everyday experience in the life of a Rocket League player. I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I did. Also, I now have merch for the first time ever. Finally launched a merch store. Came out pretty clean, I'm pretty happy with it. So go to shopsunless.com if you want some of my merch. Hi. Part one, sprinkle of salt. I divided each of the clips into several different types of toxicity. I'm not going to talk through each clip, but I feel like a few need explaining. I really like this one because I learned about something new, and that's the chase meta. This guy loves when the chasing meta works. Now you can see the chasing meta in action, as I scored. Hans, your garbage. Now it's just the chasing meta. Now we're still in the sprinkle of salt section where it's just light toxicity, sometimes baffling toxicity. Here we're up two goals. I'm slowing that challenge, so I'm way out of the play, I try to recover. Smeal is in a 2v1. He loses it, but it's a tough situation, so I understand. He doesn't though. What are you doing? It's a good strategy to shit talk your teammate when you're up a goal. I think a common thread you'll notice in this light toxicity is uh, usually the player that makes the mistake is the one to talk. Here's a perfect example of that. You are a joke. An interesting thing about this category of toxicity is it's not like the person's always wrong. Like you're not wrong, you're just an asshole. Here's a good example of how you don't want to run into your teammate. There, I was going for a demo, bump my teammate. Let's me know he's not happy with that. Stop ball chasing, of course.
Let's do this. Leroy Dragon! Oh my god, he just ran in. This one's great. Opponent, and the opponent had a console teammate. Score a goal off a little mistake. Eclipse, my teammate IQ is negative five. Later on, Eclipse has a shot. Beautiful save by my teammate. It's all up to the console opponent. Doesn't go well. Let's see what Eclipse has to say about that. The console player is baffled. <laughs> Yikes. This one's great because it resulted in a flurry of discussion in the post-game screen. One simple play. That's all it took. Bro. WTF. Good question. What 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 did happen here? Y'all need to get your head out of your ass. This is dumb. Dude, you're bad. How's it our fault? You shattered the ball and did nothing. Because you're slow. E. Oh, so you want people to double commit on you every play? And we need to push. And throw everyone out of position? No, just think faster. Genius.
I'm so 